Hey, this is Pastor Shane Pooler with your Monday Morning Moment. As you can see, I'm in the other form of pastoral mode, and that is working around the church. We're doing some remodeling, and uh, yeah, I know, it seems like that's all we ever do, is it seems like we're always remodeling something. Um, but it's progress. In my, in my mindset, it's, it's us moving forward. It's us following the vision that God has laid upon our heart. Um, and so this is how you get to see me today. Uh, in uh, pastoral work mode. With that in mind, I wanted to stop by here for just a couple minutes and, um, and talk to you um, about progress and about change and about moving forward. Now, change is that word that we hate. Um, in fact, the older that we get, I think the more we don't want to hear it. Um, but the truth of it is, um, change is necessary. Change is necessary for growth. It's necessary for fruitfulness. Um, a tree does not bear fruit as a sapling or as a seedling. It has to grow and mature and it has to change. It has to become something that it was originally designed to be. And that's the same with you and I. Now this building, it's designed to hold people and, and uh, to operate for a very specific purpose. But even in the, in the thought of, of the structure, there's a lot of changes that take place, that has taken place in the last 45, 46, 47 years. A lot of changes have happened here. Change is necessary if we are going to stay current and, and, and be able to effectively reach people uh, in, our, in our community. If we never did anything, the building would dilapidate and it would begin to fall down right around us. So change and upkeep is, is something that is necessary. So thinking about that, when we think about our spiritual lives, I don't think it's any different. Change is necessary for us. We have to go through changes. We have to go through those maturity times. I remember when I was growing up um, in between my freshman and sophomore year, I grew really, really fast. My body was changing, but and my, my legs grew so fast that that they it took a while for them to catch up. I, I remember I could be just walking and all of a sudden my legs give out underneath me. Um, it was because they were going through a change. They were growing. They were growing too rapidly. And it just took time for them all to catch up. It was a process. It was a change. It was something that took time uh, to take place. Spiritually speaking, it takes time. It's a process. I, I think sometimes we forget to tell our new converts that just because they got saved, that um, doesn't mean that all of a sudden life is, is perfect. But there's a process that they're going to go through. There's changes that they're going to continue to go through all the way until they go home to meet the Lord. I think that I, I can say personally for me that there's been a change that has been transpiring in me even since June of 2018. A massive change that was taking place in my life that the Lord was showing me some things that that I never knew um, and, and enriching me and taking me to another level spiritually isn't that what we desire isn't that what we want we want to be like him we want to be like the Lord the scripture says that when he returns we shall be like him to be like him takes change I'm not like him I'm trying to be and as he chips away at this outer shell, and as I bring my flesh under subjection to the Word of God and to the Spirit of God, I'm developing new characteristics and I'm developing a new sense of who I am in him. As I learn who he is, I learn who I am. And then I can allow the Lord to change me and develop me into the man that he wants me to be. I wanna encourage you this week if you're going through something, know that whatever you're going through, it can be used to help develop you into the man or the woman of God that he is believing you to be. Sometimes it's hard for us to see that in ourselves, but know that God is working and that it's a process. Know that he is thinking good things towards you, not evil things, and he is working on your behalf sitting out here painting and doing the things that we've been doing, it's hard on this body. That process and that change is difficult for us sometimes. But in the end, there'll be such a gratification 
and our excitement about what God is doing for us. And I believe that that's going to happen for you too. So I hope this has been a blessing to you. I hope you haven't minded my other pastoral mode here today. And I hope that you have a blessed and a wonderful week. So this is Pastor Shane Pooler from the Highway Church in Kennewick, Washington with your Monday morning moment. Come on down and help us paint. Blessings. <laughs>